Hello, I am SV8RMA. This is the third part of my tips and tricks videos about the Kenwood TS990. Get ready and enjoy! The first thing we will examine is the reverse split function. If you remember in the first video we have seen the direct setting of the split function some kilohertz up. Now we will see how it is done going down. It's pretty much the same way. Press and hold the TX button of the sub receiver. Now you are in split mode. Press 0 and how many kilohertz you want to go down. Let's say 5. You press 5 and that's it. You are 5 down in split mode. The second thing we will see is the lock button. Usually in many radios the lock button locks the big knob for not changing the frequency in the main VFO. In our radio the lock button locks and other buttons and features. This is the lock button. For example, you cannot disable the split mode if the lock button is pressed. Or you cannot change band. That's the lock button. Now we are going to compare two identical functions of the TS990. The notch and the band elimination filter. This two confused me a lot as I couldn't notice any difference when I compared them. After reading the in-depth manual, I found some info that maybe is the solution to this confusion. Kenwood states that the notch is designed to eliminate steady carriers or CW transmissions that interfere our reception. Here is an example how effective the notch is in CW unlike the BEF function. Now we see the Ham Radio Deluxe digital section and you can see how the CW signal is totally eliminated with the notch function. Let's press the notch. It is totally eliminated. Let's press the BEF. If I press the BEF, we can see traces of the CW signal and we even hear it. These are the traces. Now the transmission stopped and it started again. You see the traces of the CW signal and if I press the notes, it eliminates it. The band elimination filter is designed to eliminate other in-band interferences. Probably that's why it has more settings in order to be more effective in wider transmissions. The BEF function is effective in eliminating the annoying birdies as you can tailor its bandwidth and almost kill any interference on the edges of our reception. Let's take a look. You see here the BEF function and now you hear the birdies and the BEF on and eliminates the birdies and if you press it and hold it here are the settings the settings that you can tailor it at your own needs That's it, the BEF function. The fourth function we will check is the transmission of the recorded messages. Here I have some recorded messages and we will see number 2, which I have set it in repeat mode. This means that the radio transmits the message, waits for several seconds and it transmits again. This procedure will continue forever until the operator stops it. 
Victor 8, Romeo Mike Alpha CQ contest. You can see here the stop button. But if you run a contest, it is not comfortable to press the stop button any time a station replies. See how it works. Sierra Victor 8, Romeo Mike Alpha CQ contest. You press the stop button and you exit from the repeat mode and you are free to listen and transmit. But there is another way to get out of the repeat mode without pressing the stop button. Just press the PTT and you are ready for battle. Let's see that. Sierra Victor 8, Romeo Mike Alpha CQ contest. Now we are in the repeat mode. I press the PTT and I set it off without transmitting. Press once again the PTT and you are on the air. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. This is SV8 RMA 73 from Greece.